Welcome back to K-12 Analytics Engineering. I am Marco Selkozer, and today we are going to be talking about student information systems and the EDFI certification. We're going to talk about what the certification actually is, what it requires CIS vendors to send to EDFI, and then we're going to really get into the details, talk about specific vendors, who has integrations, what do they look like, and how do you get started with them. No time like the present, hit that like and subscribe button down below. You got it? All right, let's talk about EdFi. Okay, so first I want to separate two different things. The first is integration, and the second is certification. So any EdTech vendor can go and build an EdFi integration. So for example, a Sys vendor may look at its application data, map it to the EdFi data standard, and then start setting an education organization their data via specific EdFi API resources, and then keep that up to date as the application data changes. Now, a certification lays out a set of API resources, and it requires the Sys vendor to send data to those resources and keep it up to date. And there are two certifications available through the Alliance. There's the Sys one that we're talking about today, but then there's a separate assessment one that covers a different set of API resources. And so here are some resources that I'm going to link in the description below. I really think that it's worth your time to read through these and get comfortable with what the certification actually requires so that when you talk to Sys vendors, you are knowledgeable about the data that they should be sending you. So the first thing you'll see linked is the actual EdFi API Sys certification. And so this is what actually says that the student information system should manage a core set of data on a target system, so on an education organization's API, and the core set of data is defined by EDFI RFC 16. So RFC 16 is here and linked in the description below. This has a Swagger file with the API resources that are required in the certification. And this is a subset of all of the API resources that are in the EDFI API. So api.edfi.org is going to show you all of the endpoints and then RFC 16 are the specific endpoints covered by the SIS certification and then again the assessment certification covers a different set of API resources. I'm also linking the actual registry of certified products and so this will list all of these SIS vendors that have gone through uh, the actual certification process. It does take some time between when a Sys vendor builds an integration and when they're certified, and that's because they have to actually implement it in the field with a certain number of education organizations, and then those organizations need to contact EdFi and give their sign-off that the integration meets certain requirements. Okay, so now the part of the video that you probably care mo most about, which Sys vendors have actually built an integration. So I am going to go through a bunch of vendors that I have come up against over the last five years working with EdFi. This is simply the ones that I have come up against through my work. There may be more out there. Please let me know via comments if you at a district are using an integration that's not listed here. I want to highlight that in part two. And so here's the full list and I'm going to break them apart into different buckets. Uh, depending on different things like price and availability. I'm going to take you through these in three different buckets. The first ones are the SISs that are ready to go. You can get that integration turned on today. The second one is where there's a cost associated. And the third one is where there are integrations, well, that exist, but your district may not be able to use yet. So the first one, the ones that are ready to go, Aries, Focus, GoEduStar, Harmony, Infinite Campus, Synergy, and Tyler. If you use one of these SISs, you should be able to reach out today, ask the vendor to turn on the EdFi integration for your school district, and start sending data. Just tell them, hey, I watch this cool YouTube channel called K-12 Analytics Engineering. I learned so much about EdFi. I've implemented it. I love it. Marcos is the best. Let's get that data turned on. PowerSchool and Skyward. So these are the two vendors that do charge for their EdFi integration. We'll start with Skyward first. So in my experience, what I have seen is the first year costs around $17.50. Part of that is a one-time setup fee. And then there's a recurring cost that I believe is under $500 uh, for every year. 
but your mileage may vary. So if you are using Skyward as your sys, you're gonna wanna reach out to support and you're gonna wanna inquire about that integration and see what costs are like and what the setup process is like. Now PowerSchool, there's an $8,000 initial cost. 5,000 of that is a one-time cost and then it's 3,000 year to year. And man, $8,000, that is not a small amount. I remember when I was uh, working at a charter network that I helped start out here in Chicago. Our CIS contract was around $16,000 and that included an assessment platform. $8,000 is half of that. That just, I don't like that. But that's, that's how PowerSchool is operating today. Now there is some good news here, which is if your state has implemented EdFi, you may be able to use the PowerSchool integration at no cost to your district you're gonna to wanna to reach out to PowerSchool and inquire about that, but I have seen some states where when the state has adopted EdFi, then LEAs can have their own EdFi stream to their infrastructure at no additional cost. Aspen and eSchool Plus, these integrations exist. They're out there, and these vendors have built integrations to be able to send data to state EdFi implementations. A couple of years ago, when I was helping a school district who uses Aspen, we asked for the EdFi integration, and we were told that they started to roll it out to school districts, but that it required a lot of time on the support side to be able to help the district turn on everything. And so they stopped rolling it out to school districts and we were unable to get it. eSchool Plus with the school district that I help out there, we asked eSchool Plus for the integration and we were told no, that they could not have the integration. And so the reason why I mentioned both of these is because I hope that if you're watching this and your district uses one of these CISs, then you can reach out and you can ask for the integration. And, we, and the more requests that those vendors get from districts that are saying, hey, I know what EdFi is, I really want to use the integration, then I hope we can start to turn the tide and then we can start to see those vendors supporting districts more. And that's it, that's what I have for you. So those are the CIS vendors that I've come across that have EdFi integrations and that have gone through the certification process. Please let me know if you know of other ones and I'll do a part two where I highlight those.